Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use MLflow runs to log parameters using MLflow API. Logging parameters is very important because it allows you to keep track of the hyperparameters that you use during the training phase. Uh, so let me walk you to the code that I have written for this video. Here the first thing that I am doing is retrieving an experiment uh, and I'm using basically this function that needs uh, the experiment name. In this case, it's testing MLflow1. If we go to the interface, we can see that we are referring to this experiment, uh, which contains a run called testing. Then we are starting a new run called login parents, and we are using the experiment ID to associate this run uh, with this experiment. So now let's talk about login parameters. In MLflow, we can use two methods to log parameters. MLflow.log, this dot log parent, this is a method that we have seen before. Uh, in this case, uh, we are passing uh, the name of the parameter and the value. But we can log more than one parameter at the same time. And to do so, we can use a dictionary. For example, here I am creating a dictionary called parameters, which contain uh, basically key values pair, pairs. A learning rate, uh, apods, batch size, last function, and uh, optimizer. So we can see that we have different types. We have a float, an integer, uh, integer, and a string. Um, then, in order to log this dictionary, we can use the method log parents and pass the dictionary as a param as an argument of this method. So this will allow us to basically log more than one uh, parameter at the same time. So let's execute this code and see what happens. Python 07. Okay, it seems that it, it was successful. Now let's go here. Let's refresh this. And here we can see a new run called login parents. Let's click. And we can see that the section parameters basically uh, you know has been updated. We had batch size and uh, learning rate and so on. So these are the two ways that we have to log parameters uh, using MLflow. In the next video, we are going to see how to log metrics, basically how to populate this section that we can see here. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.